Here I've got this nice integral from the 1992 Putnam exam. So this ended up being question A2. So let's see how it goes. We want to define a function C alpha by taking the coefficient of x to the 1992 from the binomial expansion of one plus x to the alpha. And notice by Newton's generalization of the binomial theorem, that means that we could take alpha really to be any complex number. Or if you're feeling a little more fancy, it could be anything from an associative algebra. But here we'll notice that we're just taking it as a real number. And then we want to evaluate the following integral. So we've got the integral from zero to one of C evaluated at minus Y minus one times the quantity one over Y plus one plus one over y plus two, plus one over y plus three, all the way up to one over y plus 1992. So let's see how the solution goes. We'll start by looking at this function C alpha and see if we can write it in terms of something that's a little bit more familiar. So let's notice that C alpha is equal to the coefficient of x to the 1992 in the expansion of one plus x to the alpha. Here, I'll use this notation here with a coefficient underscore x to the 1992 to mean that I'm extracting that coefficient. So I think this is not super standard, but it's used quite heavily in my field of vertex operator algebras. So that means we're gonna need to take the coefficient of x to the 1992 in this thing expanded, which will be the sum as n goes from zero to infinity of alpha choose n times x to the n. So again, that's just a straightforward application of this binomial theorem. But now extracting the x to the 1992 coefficient means that we just need to set n equal to 1992. So this is going to be alpha choose 1992. But now we can recall that that is equal to alpha times alpha minus one times alpha minus two, all the way down to alpha minus 1992 plus one, all over 1992 factorial. So we've got this descending product starting at alpha and ending at really alpha minus 1991. Then we have that over 1992 factorial. So I wrote it this way because if you were to write it in the usual format, which would be something like alpha factorial over n factorial, alpha minus n factorial, that wouldn't make a ton of sense if alpha was not a natural number. And in this case, it's not, it's on the interval from zero to one and any real number at that. So now we can rewrite this integral using this expansion. So now we've got the integral from zero to one of this object right here where we plug in minus y minus one for alpha. So that's gonna give us minus y minus one times minus y minus two, all the way to minus y minus 1992. And you might say, well, what about this plus one? But that was gobbled up by this minus one that was built into this. And now we have this is all over 1992 factorial. And then I'll collapse all of this into a sum. So let's notice that this is the sum as n goes from one up to 1992 of one over y plus n, and then we have dy. So this is our new integral. So let's see what we can do from here. I first off wanna notice that I have an even number of terms here. So since I have an even number of terms, in fact, there are 1992 terms, I can factor a minus one out of all of them and that does not change the sign. So I'll just write this as minus one to the 1992, although we'll disregard the sign from here on out because that's an even number. And then what's left is the product y plus one, all the way up to y plus 1992. Now we can take that product and distribute it on the sum and notice that one term cancels for every term from the sum. So in the first term, the y plus one cancels. In the second term, the y plus two cancels. And then in that last term, the y plus 1992 cancels. So we wanna encode that carefully. That's what we'll do in this next step. So let's notice that this is one 
over 1992 factorial. I'll factor that, can that constant out. And then we have the integral from zero to one of the sum as n goes from one to 1992 of y plus one times y plus two all the way up to y plus n minus one times y plus n plus one all the way up to y plus 1992. Where notice I have removed the y plus n term because it canceled out in the denominator there. Next up, I wanna notice that I can think about the y plus n term being here with its derivative having been taken. So notice I can add that back in, or I should say multiply it back in. So notice if I could multiply back in the derivative of y plus n here, given the fact that the derivative of y plus n is one. Let's see what we've got. We've got the sum as n goes from one to 1992 of this product of all of these things where we've taken the derivative one part at a time. So notice in the first portion of the sum, we've taken the derivative of y plus one and multiplied the rest of the terms. In the second portion of the sum, we've taken the derivative of y plus two, but then multiplied the rest of the terms. And that goes for all of these terms from the sum in one to 1992. But that's exactly the product rule for a product of 1992 terms in this case. So that means I can rewrite this as one over 1992 factorial. I've got my integral from zero to one of the derivative with respect to y of y plus one times y plus two all the way up to y plus 1992, where I no longer need my sum and I no longer need to leave anything out of that sum because the product rule takes us from here to here, just as we'd like it to. Okay, but now we can apply the fundamental theorem of calculus part one that says if we take the integral of a derivative, well, those cancel, and then we're left with what's happening on the end points. So this is gonna be equal to one over 1992 factorial times the function y plus one times y plus two all the way up to y plus 1992 where we need to evaluate that function from y equals zero up to y equals one. So notice evaluating at y equals one will give us 1993 factorial because we'll have two times three times four all the way up to 1993. Evaluating at y equals zero will give us one times two up to 1992, so that's 1992 factorial. So that leaves us with one over 1992 factorial times 1993 factorial minus 1992 factorial. But after some simplification, we see that that will be 1993 minus one, which is 1992 which is a very fitting answer to this problem, which came from the year 1992. And that's a good place to stop.